Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be doing a lash haul, yay! So about two weeks ago I went into London. I went with my best friend and the most thing I was most excited about was going to see Lush's head store um, in Oxford Street. So I was so excited because I'd seen so many people do videos about it and I've seen pictures of it and I follow Lush obviously because I used to work there. Lush for me holds a very dear part of my heart. I absolutely love it. I had the best experience working there pretty much. Um, the brand treated me really well. I absolutely loved the brand. I had such a passion about the brand and it was the first ever sort of job where I felt like, I know it sounds really cheesy, but I felt like I belong. Like I was like, this is where I should be. Um, obviously things are a bit different now because I've changed my job, but I've always said 100% I will go back to Lush, whether it be in the future, you know, definitely go back because the brand's lovely. I love what they stand for, all the animal testing, fighting animal testing, everything, it's amazing. Please excuse the way that I look, by the way. I'm still in my jogging bottoms. I'm just in a really cozy mood today and I just don't wanna, I don't wanna go outside either because it's just really dull and horrible. But um, yeah, let's get started. I might split this video into two because this might be quite a long video, but I should see how it goes because I have got quite a few products. Um. Yeah, I am going to split this into two actually because it is going to be quite long. So, the first thing I'm going to be talking about, and it's in front of me, and I've been using this in the shower. Um, also, by the way, Lush Oxford Street, um, they do, they well, they did products that you could only buy in that store. So, they are the really exciting ones. But um, as I say, I'll show you everything and I'll point out the bits that you, you, that you used to be able to get in Lush Oxford Street. But now they sell on the website, so... I'm not quite sure what you can get in the last shop street now and what you can get on the website, so I'll just show you everything. So, this is the first thing that I've been using. It's Snow Fairy, there it is. Um, Snow Fairy only comes around once a year at Christmas time. This is a beautiful bubblegum, sugary scented shower gel. Oh my God, it just, this for me, it just smells of Christmas. I used to get so excited when I used to be in the store and used to, it used to come in. It's pink and it's got tiny little flecks of glitter as well. And I absolutely love Snow Fairy. Cannot get enough of it. And um, I'm probably gonna go back and get a massive one of this. That's Snow Fairy Shower Gel. One of Lush's sort of cult favorites. A lot of people like that. On to another product now. This is Santa's Belly. This is the shower gel, shower jelly, sorry, I should say. Now this has exactly the same scent as Lush's So White Bath Bomb, which unfortunately they haven't bought back this year, which is a bit sad, but this is a really nice, fresh apple smell. So if you love like really like an authentic apple smell, Santa's Belly will definitely be for you. It's just really nice red color as well. It has these little cute little stars in too. That's what I love about Lush, they're just so cute. So that's Santa's Belly Shower Gel. Absolutely love that. Um, and you can, I'm pretty sure with the shower gel is you can use them on your hair as well. So you could have apple scented hair if you want to. Um, the only thing they haven't bought back this Christmas, which I'm a bit upset about, is Hot Toddy. Now I was speaking to a girl in Lush about it. I was like, why haven't you bought it back? And they said that it might be because one of the ingredients is no longer fair trade or do you know what I mean? Like one of the products that they, ingredients that they use, they no longer can use basically. So that is the reason why. But she thinks it might be back next year. So fingers crossed and thumbs up for Hot Toddy. Let me know if you like that shower gel. Okay, on to this, which is on the packaging, because I've got to label everything. Shark infested custard. This is a bar full. Now I've already used one of these. Really, really liked it. Show you what it looks like. It looks a bit odd. Now I've looked online, I'm pretty sure you can't get this online. I'm pretty sure this is only a Lush Oxford Street. But um, it looks like that, how cute is that? But you literally just drop it into the bath and it melts. And it's already melting a bit now. Um, but it's a, uh, what's yellow and dangerous? Not this, hold this vanilla -y scented melt by its melon paper thin and dive it into bath waters. Um, yeah, but that's exactly what it is. It's like vanilla -y. I love vanilla anyway, I love vanilla -y perfume, I love butterball, those sort of vanilla -y nice smells. Really moisturising as well, they look tiny but you get so much oil and everything out of them, so 
That is amazing. I think these were really cheap. I think these were like £2 each or something. So they were really nice. Very luxurious as well. So I should put the... Where did I put the other stuff? Find it in a minute. Okay. So this is Sparkly Pumpkin. This obviously is a Halloween special. Let's try and get it undone. Um... Okay, how cute is this, literally? Look at that, it's a pumpkin! Look, it's got a little cinnamon stick as well. Oh my God, I find it so bloody cute. And this is one of Lush's bubble bars. All glitter everywhere now. Oh wow. Um, it's one of Lush's bubble bars. So you crumble little bits under the tap and it makes it really nice and foamy. Like, it's literally like, how I used to say, it's like solid bubble bath. That's exactly what it is. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love those. Um, this one's got a really nice sort of orangey smell to it. It's really orangey and Halloween-y and like, I don't know. But yeah, love these. You can get a few baths out of these as well. Oh, it's down there, look. Okay, on to another product. Let's talk about this. This is, oh my God, this is one of my favorite bath bombs from Lush at Christmas time. This is Cinders. How cute's that? It's got popping candy at the top as well. Oh my God, guys. This is literally just Christmas in a bath bomb. I'm gonna wait until I, it gets to like December before I use this bath bomb. But it's a really nice cinnamony, um, vanilla-y with a hint of like spiciness as well. Like I don't know whether it's got cardamom or something in, I don't know. This bath bomb is amazing. Love that. And that was really cheap as well. That one was like £2.50. Okay, on to Floating Island Bath Bomb. Bath Bomb, bath oil. Um, and I'm, I'm, I think you can get this one on the website, lush.co.uk. I don't know if they sell them in the US yet. I shall check for you. Um, but this one's really cute. Um, I was never a big fan of Floating Island, the bath melt. This is the bath oil, um, yeah, the bath oil. But I was never a big fan of floating island bath, um, bath melt. That's what I wanted to say. Had a really like cedar woody, really um, like neutrally sort of like smell. My best friend absolutely loved it. It was one of her favorite products from Lush, but. I just was never a fan, but I'm really a big, big fan of the bath oil because it's more like sweet and it's got like vanilla in it. So I absolutely love that. So I'm really, really, really excited to use that. Um, on to a few more bath bombs. I'll do a part two as well because I've got a feeling that this is going to be too long. So I'll show you the rest of the other stuff that I bought in another video. Um, oh, 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 what's this? Oh, this is exciting. This is... Look at that. Candy Mountain, look, it's got all the glitter and it's pink. This is one of their bubble bars and it smells exactly the same as Snow Fairy. So you crumble it under the tap and it makes lots of fluffy bubbles. What I love about Creamy, can uh, creamy Candy, um, Candy Mountain, sorry, is that it's really, really, really foamy like Creamy Candy, the bubble bar. So it makes really nice soft bubbles. And it's really quite moisturising as well. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love Candy Mountain. That's one of my absolute favourites. It's always one that I get at Christmas time. Well, when it gets cold. Um, because it just makes me feel nice and cosy. Um, so that's Candy Mountain. Can you see that? Candy Mountain. Um, on to my last two bath bombs that I purchased. This is Yognog. Oh my god, this has got to be my all time favourite Lush bath bomb. I I absolutely love it. Let me try and get this undone. Um, um, um. There we go. Oh my god, it is amazing. I'll get it out for you. Oh, look at that. It's this really nice, sort of yellowy, goldy colour. Oh my God, this literally smells of yognog. It's absolutely amazing. 
egg yolk milk, that's not a word. Egg milk, that's what it smells of. It's really nice, vanilla y, Christmassy, gets you into the Christmas spirit. I absolutely love that bath bomb. And I've got a feeling it goes like yellow and orange when it's in the bath, it's really exciting. So I can't wait to use that. That literally just smells of Christmas as well. Like a nice sort of like Christmassy custardy dessert, which I absolutely love. Um, okay, on to my last bath bomb. Peeping Santa. This one is, this is the bubble bomb. I forgot, I forgot I got this one actually. So I'm gonna try and get it undone. Oh, he looks cute. I forgot I got him. Oh, look at him. He is a bubble bar. And, oh, he smells of strawberry. Oh, that's really nice. He smells like um, the strawberry shaving foam. What's it called from Lush? Um, Oh, I forgot what it's called, but it sounds like the strawberry shaving foam, if you've ever tried that from Lush. Um, I can't wait to use that. It's really nice. It smells of fresh, um, ripe strawberries. And that one is Peeping Santa. How exciting! <laughs> um, but yeah, that brings me to the end. Oh, actually, I've got one more. The Comforter Shower Gel. Oh my god. If you've ever tried the Comforter Bubble Bar, this is this in a bottle. Oh my God, and I prefer it in a bottle, actually. Actually, do I? I like both of them exactly the same. I like the bubble bar and the shower gel. Ah, oh. One of the first ever products I tried from Lush was the Comforter. Absolutely love it in the shower gel. Very nostalgic smell to me, and I absolutely love it. So yeah, guys, that brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed my little Lush haul when I went to Lush Oxford Street. Um, let me know if you visited the store and what you thought of it, because I thought it was absolutely amazing. It's like four floors high and they've got it's just it's it's just an experience if you're going near london go in the lush oxford street because i absolutely recommend it the staff are really good there's thousands of staff in there it's a massive shop um and they've as i say they've got lush oxford street exclusives so yeah that brings me to the end of today's video i'm going to do a part two of some more products i've got because i've got some soap i've got some hair bits as well so yes that brings me to the end Hope you have a good day, guys. Um, let me know what you think. And if you want any, like, individual reviews of anything I've done. Um, love you guys. Bye.